Gemini, I'm here to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. The song I got on shuffle for y'all was Bitches. Um, that's the name of the song by Tublo. And it's a little bit of a like saucy song. It's like a little bit angry, but she's basically saying like, bitches, I don't trust them unless they give me what I want for the night. So you might be in a little bit of a power mode or dealing with somebody. And we're gonna see what the cards have to say, but that song is very much so like this person is detached from their feelings and you know, more focused on like physical. So that could be kind of what you're going through. You could be in like a numbing phase right now. I don't know. Let's see what the cards have to say. Um, three oracle cards, please, for Gemini. Reflect on your truth. Live life to the fullest. And uh, look forward and go with the flow. So I feel like you're just kind of, I just don't think you're in like a, I'm looking for a relationship mode right now. I think you're just kind of riding the waves um while you figure out what it is that you want but be aware that you're not projecting like that you're not categorizing a lump sum of individuals like kind of how the song does it's like categorizing everyone as like bitches you know when that's like not the case and it is a female who sings that song so Tableau. So it could be, you could be dealing with like some same sex relationships, but you know, it would be like if I go around saying like, mm, all men are, aren't like men aren't shit, you know, then I'm just reiterating that belief. And it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like every person I meet is just going to reiterate that belief to me. And I'm going to keep thinking like, you know, they're all going to keep disappointing me. So keep that in mind. All right, bottom of the deck, we've got the Hermit card. So Virgo energy here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but I really think this is you kind of in Hermit mode, trying to figure out what it is that you want, what it is that's going to make you happy, like what it is that's, you know, what's your truth? That's, that's kind of what you're doing here in this uh, Hermit, with this Hermit energy here. All right, so overall energy between you and another person. We've got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you came out of a really rough situation. The good thing about the Ten of Swords means that you are, it is like final. It is over. It's like, you know, it was really painful, but it's over now. Um, so I feel like this is contributing to your energy of kind of still have it, harboring resentment against like, a certain type of person, a group of person, a certain gender or sex, you know. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing maybe you like left one relationship and now you're experimenting with like another gender. I don't know. Um, but I do think that your, your main focus right now is you, focusing on you. Healing from this painful situation. Let's get a clarifier for this Ten of Swords. We've got the page of wands. I think this is you kind of taking on that more. And when I use the term immature, I don't mean like immature from a standpoint of you're just not taking things seriously right now. I just don't see you taking anything, any connection seriously. Like you could be kind of in these like one off little frilly, thrilly situations, you know? Um, Seven of Wands. And it's actually, I feel like you have a lot of people that are approaching you, but you're like bored. You're bored. They're, none of them are really sparking your interest. So you're kind of just like going through the motions here. And I think that you'll go through the motions until you really kind of find out what it is that you want, what it is your truth. But right now I do feel like you're just trying, you're just doing it to get through, to get through, to keep going forward. Like you're just, what's the other song of hers? She's got that one song. It's like, I gotta stay high all the time to keep you off my mind. Ooh, it's like that feeling. Like, it's like, you just got to keep going through the motion so that you don't think about this pain, this hurt that you've been through. But I do see like sometimes that makes it worse because if you're not taking this time to actually feel your feelings, like I see this like apathetic feeling, like you're very bored with life right now. 
Um, we've got the King of Pentacles here, so this could bode well for somebody who comes into the picture. All right, let's see. Um, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. Huh. Let me get a clarifier for this King of Pentacles. You're almost like, it's like you're, yeah, Nine of Cups. There's this, there's this wish fulfillment that's coming in for you. This could be about your finances um, or something like that comes in that's stable. Because um, I'm hearing like right now you could be going through a great pe time period like financially. And it's actually like, you know, you're kind of like, you would have assumed that if you were in this place financially, you would have been in a different place romantically. Um, but I do keep feeling this feeling of like, that song keeps coming out. Like, I gotta say hi all the time to keep you off my mind. It's like, you gotta go, go, go to keep this, to keep you from looking at this person's profile, looking at this person's pictures. Like, you're just trying to like, stay busy, stay doing stuff, stay like focusing on other people. Um, this is good though. The, 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 if, if you're wondering how the other person is feeling, the person you're moving away from, if you're curious, they could be like doing their own thing, you know, drinking a lot. Like, I don't think, I think this person's going through, if you broke up with somebody, um, this person's taking it, you know, they're doing the same thing you are, just to be aware. So we've got the Knight of Swords, but I do think that there's some wish fulfillment coming in, some kind of news coming in for you. Empress card and the High Priestess, interesting. Um, hmm. What is this Knight of Swords doing here? This is communication that rushes in. Somebody's kind of been waiting to communicate to you. And I think you've been kind of like, um, gosh, but then it comes rushing in. Air sign energy. This could be, you know, what is this Knight of Swords doing here? Some kind of new beginning. Look, air sign energy. There's the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of air in this chart. So there's a lot of like communication that's coming in. A lot of like clarity something's coming in that's bringing you clarity that's gonna lead you to some kind of new beginning you could intuitively already know what this is what is this high priestess doing here six of swords huh this is a bit of uh, this is a bit of like well anytime the high priestess comes up in a reading it basically like a stop sign for me. It's like, uh, we're not going to give you this information. So move on, move on from this card. That's what I hear. They said, we're not giving you this information, but there's some kind of communication that comes in that is going to bring you clarity and it's going to kind of force you to make some kind of decision. And they could be what triggers this 10 of swords like this, like it's done. It's officially done and over here um but yeah it's interesting because that's that message that i just got like don't ask about this like move on from it okay well let's see page of pentacles yeah you're getting some kind of offer coming in ace of pentacles and the um page of cups Interesting, interesting. The Empress here talks about fertility, talks about new beginnings, but there's like something comes in really quickly that you just immediately cut out. You're immediately cutting out. And then something new comes in, but they don't want me to know what that is that comes in that you're just immediately mixing. So if any of you have any ideas, all right, what's this page of pentacles doing here? Ten of cups, ah. Um, page of cups here. Emperor and the wheel of fortune. So, let's see. If this is somebody new, because there's somebody coming in. You've got your ten of cups coming, it's coming. And it might come when you least expect it. Uh, apparently spirit is kind of like whatever you're doing, you're on the right track. Even if you're feeling like, you know, you're spinning your wheels or you're doing something that might be 
I don't think it's destructive. I just think you're kind of in a mindset where you're like, I'm going to put me first. It's actually you're on the right path. And they almost want you to, like, that's why they don't want me to say what's coming in. Because they want it to take you by surprise a little bit. Because this Ten of Cups, like, this is, this is like an emotional journey for you to overcome. But it's leading you to your Ten of Cups. It's leading you to your person now this person this person is going to be wish fulfillment so if it is somebody who's coming back from the past it might not be it's probably not but it's like going to be somebody who has a very like authoritative energy and you could meet this person at work at a job but yeah there's this feeling of like something comes rushing in here and then there's like immediately like it comes in and it's like it comes in fast and it's like just as fast you're like no you say no to it um and you move forward and it's like moving forward and then because of that you're finding this ten of cups you're finding this kind of happy ending here this new beginning the universe is going to gift you with something but they really don't want me to what's the ten of give me a clarifier for the ten of cups Two of Swords. Um, you might intuitively know what this is because there's a lot of cards about like, you know, they might not want me to share too much because of the fact that you need to figure it out on your own mentally. And this is for whoever it resonates. I know this is like a frustrating reading, but it's just really interesting to me that, you know, maybe some of them are saying like you're watching too much tarot videos. You're watching too many tarot videos. Um, that you need to kind of reflect on your truth and you need to just disconnect for a little bit and focus on your own energy and kind of getting yourself to a stable place, getting your self-worth up, getting that, because your new beginning is coming. Um, but yeah, that is, that's really interesting to me, that communication that comes in that they kind of don't want me to elaborate on. But it's like communication that comes in and immediately like, you shift it out. You shift it out immediately. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and pull one. What is this communication that comes in? Three of Wands. Something that you've been waiting on. But it almost is like you've been waiting on it. And then as it comes in, you're just like, you decide, I don't want it anymore. Why is this six of swords here? This is a, a, an offer you've been waiting on for a long time. And when it comes in, you don't want it anymore. You're not going to want it anymore. Um, but this person could really, if it's a person, if it's an offer, it, it, it's not going to be so easy for it to let go of. But it could be that like you find love when you least expect it because you're just not even looking for it. You don't even want it right now. It's that kind of vibe here. So... Take what resonates. I'm going to pull two heart-to-heart -heart messages and then move into the extended where I'll look more into kind of what this is coming towards you. I'll pull some archetype cards, see if we can't get some info on who this person is that's coming up in the reading. Um, advice from spirit. We'll pull some more messages uh, and the sex tarot and see what's going on there. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click the link in the description box and let me pull... Trust me, I'm not the same person as I was before. So this could be, like I said, somebody coming in from the past. Maybe you've been waiting a long time for this person to come deliver you a message. And by the time they do, you've already moved on. You've already released this person. One more. I forgive you. Okay, interesting. So it might have been like a double double situation here or that could be something that you decide just to forgive this person because you're so far past it um but again take what resonates so in the extended i'll look into this a little bit deeper if you're interested in that i'll see you guys there bye